onset uh, colorectal cancer risk, especially those associated with red processed meat. So these are things that you should be taking note of. And a science fact for you, male gentoo penguins often propose to their mates by giving them a pebble. And if the female accepts the pebble, they will use it to build a nest together. Isn't that an amazing science fact? <laughs> so yeah, that's it for uh, science news and your science facts. I will take a short break here. Uh, when we return, my guest is here in the studio from the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Uh, we'll get into our conversation. Don't go anywhere. The luckiest star seven one two ash. Luck is everywhere. Uh, you're still tuned into Star 103.5 FM, and it's time for The Horizon, like I mentioned. Um, my guest in this, is in the studio. He is the Director of Radiological and Medical Sciences Research Institute at the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, Professor Francis Hasford. Prof, good morning. Good morning, Landam. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good, and yourself? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, it's good to have you here in the studio. Thank you. Um, I hope the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is doing well. Very well. 60 years. Yes. 60 years. Uh, you, you recently launched your 60th anniversary. So, I mean, what was all the highlights of the launch, you know, and uh, how, how, how did it turn out? Thank you very much, Alantam. Let me say good morning to, to your listeners. Yeah. As well as um, those listening to us from Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, um, in July, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission um, launched the uh, GAIC at 60. So, Atomic Energy Commission is 60 years. And throughout these years, we've been doing a lot in terms of the nuclear field. So um, on the launch, um, we were privileged. We had the Minister for, 
for the Ministry of Environment, Science and Technology, and Madame Ophelia Hayford graced the occasion. Um, we used the opportunity to launch what is called the GAEC Development Fund. And right. also unveiled the, the GAEC Assisting logo. And mm -hmm. we had the past director generals all come there, celebrate with us. So it was a very beautiful occasion, and, and everyone enjoyed it. Those who were able to, to participate really enjoyed the program. Mm. You, you, you launched a new Guy Caf 60 logo. Yes. You know, uh, interesting stuff. So what are, some of the, what, what are some of the commission's contributions to national development within these last 60 years of being in existence? Of course, we know that you are yeah. a very, very important institution. Yeah. All right. So, as I said earlier on, we've been in existence since 1963. Yeah. Foundation Stone of Ghana Atomic Energy Commission was laid in 1964 in November. And so, it's a year-long activity that we, we are celebrating, and um, it's cutting across all the fields. So, um, in terms of our activities over the past 60 years, mm -hmm. we've been, we've been um, involved in health, we've been involved in agri, in industry, in environment, in water resources. So the applications of nuclear cuts across all these areas. And Ghana Atomic Energy Commission has been um, conducting research and services in all these areas. And as the conversation goes on, I believe we'll be touching more on, on the specifics of some of this. But let me just highlight a few. So in, in Agric, um, we have lots of uh, techniques that are used purely based on nuclear applications. So an example is where you have um, food products. Mm -hmm. You want to extend the shelf life of these food products so that they don't go waste in a very short time. Mm -hmm. So Ghana Atomic Energy Commission has the nuclear application to be able to help you extend the shelf life of these products. We have what is called a gamma irradiation facility. So we irradiate the food samples and they're able to stay on the shelves for a very long time before they, they go bad. And in, by this, you are helping to reduce post-harvest losses and then also, um, especially for those who export food, foodstuffs, they rely on this facility to be able to keep the food products for a very long time and then without going bad. Um, in health, the applications are enormous. Mm. In diagnosing medical conditions, in treating medical conditions, nuclear applications are involved. And Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is hugely involved. For example, if someone will be diagnosed of a cancer, mm -hmm. You need the nuclear technology to help you to do this. Yeah. So in the use of X-rays, CTs, in in fluoroscopy, mammography, breast cancer. When you were um, just before we started this interview, you made mention of breast cancer. So it is one thing that I made mention of. Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is hugely involved in that. So annually we do what is called um, breast um, cancer awareness and then free screening. Mm -hmm. And last year, we were here in, in your studios to talk about our breast cancer program in October. Yeah. This year, too, is coming up strongly. And so if you take the radiotherapy facilities where they treat cancers in the country, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission spearheaded the, the establishment of these facilities. Currently, we have two publicly owned radiotherapy facilities where cancers are treated, and one at Kolebu, one at Konfanoji Teaching Hospital. And these were led by Ghana Atomic Energy Commission in collaboration with the Ministry of Health to establish. In other areas, like in water resources, in environment, in the mining industry, Ghana Atomic Energy is covering all these yeah, activities in all these areas. I mean, so these are all great things that the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, you know, is doing in all of these fields, from our Greek, you know, to healthcare delivery, you know, to all of this. To energy. To energy. Yeah. And you know it's 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 amazing all of these things that you're doing. So we know that you mentioned that at the launch of your 60th anniversary, the uh, GAIC Development Fund. Yes. You know we also talked about that. It was also unveiled. Why was the fund set up, and how does it operate? Okay, so this this is a very bold statement that was made by the Director General of Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Mm -hmm. He's been in office for the past two and a half years or so. And um, he, as part of his vision, is to establish a development fund to cover the activities of research, innovation, and development at Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. And so um, the management of Ghana Atomic Energy Commission 
announced this during the launch of the Gaika 60 mm -hmm. celebration. Mm -hmm. And the fund is supposed to help us to move to the next step of the, act, of the work that we are doing. One is to help us to retool our laboratories, to modernize the laboratories, and to refurbish them to, to international standards. We are doing quite a lot in collaboration with the International Atomic Energy Agency, where our labs are being used as um, designated centers for, for their research and then training. Mm. But then we want to move to the next level. One thing is government is supporting the Atomic Energy Commission in all that we do. But then government cannot do it all. And so it takes all of us to come up to set up this fund to be able to do much more. And by this, um, um, we are trying to, to have the fund help us to project us to, to the next level. And so there are some target areas that this fund is supposed to, to touch on. Right. One, for example, is to, to build our equipment stock that we have. Two, to build the infrastructure that we have. Um, the people that needs to be trained to to conduct this research and to perform the services um, when it comes to dissemination of the research findings and all of that. All of these are covered by, by the research fund. So it is very broad, but there are some specific activities that immediately the fund is going to touch and then try and, and work on. Mm. So how does one contribute towards this fund? You know? Yes, so um, anyone, the fund is open for anyone to contribute individuals, organizations, NGOs, philanthropic bodies, everyone. So if anyone wants to contribute to this fund, there are some dedicated lines that a person can speak to, mm -hmm. some key people who are in charge of this fund. And then also um, there's a Momo number, there's an account number that can be displayed or that can be mentioned to the public. Anyone who wants to contribute is, to this fund is, is welcome to do so. Mm, so let's so, have the number and uh, let's, you know, get the people who want to contribute to this to contribute. And, uh, of course, uh, we encourage each, encouraging each and every single person out there to contribute to this fund because this is for us. It's for yes. us all. Yes, it's for us all, as you said. So the mobile uh, money number, the MOMO number, that um, it has the name Ghana, uh, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission Development mm -hmm. Fund. Right. And the number is 053... Eight eight four six four three nine. Maybe I don't repeat again. Yeah, of course. Zero five three eight eight four six four three nine. Or you can make a deposit into a Ghana Atomic Energy Commission Development Fund account number. Um, we have a an Echo Bank account number, and then we also have a GCB account number. So the Echo Bank account number is one four four one. Zero 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 two nine nine one zero three one four four one zero 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 two nine nine one zero three, and then the GCB, the Commercial Bank account number is one two seven one six two zero zero one one five six nine. I repeat that one too again one two seven one six two zero zero one one five six nine. So these are the numbers that you can anyone who wants to anyone. to contribute. So to the Momo now, so the Momo number, the name on it is Ghana Atomic Energy yes, Commission, the, the right? Development Fund, yes. G development Fund. Yes. So that's zero five eight 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 four six four three nine. Yes. Yes, and uh, the other accounts number, um, the the GCB account number one two seven. Yes. One six two yeah. zero zero one one five yeah. six mm -hmm. nine. Yeah. So for those of you who would want to put it into the account, and the other is um, um, the other account number is um, the other one is the Echo Bank Echo account, Bank number. account number. That's one four four one zero 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 two nine nine one zero three. Yes. So uh, you can contribute to this uh, this fund, and let's make uh, Gaek do bigger and better things, you know, for us as a country. So in, in, in what ways, Prof, would you say that Gaek is addressing the current global challenges like climate change, energy sustainability, and all of that through its uh, research innovations? Yes, so as I made mention earlier on, Gaek is helping the country. Gaek is the national um, agency that advises government on every issue concerning nuclear activities, mm. right? And through this, Gaek is playing key role in 
uh, Ghana's quest to bring in nuclear power. And by this, GAEC has an institute called the Nuclear Power Institute, and that institute is serving as a, an advisor to government in all of this. Through the help of GAEC, Ghana has been able to move through. There are different um, phases of this uh, nuclear power program. Mm. So currently we are in phase two of this program. Phase one was to identify the site where the, the, the nuclear power program is going to be. Phase two is where government then approaches vendors, those who will build and construct the facility. And GAEC is playing a key role in this. I made mention earlier on also about the isotope hydrology and then environment climate activities. So we have the technology to, to be able to do this. For example, if you talk about underground water mm -hmm. or surface water, mm -hmm. we have a technology that is able to tell the age of underground water and its origin, where it is coming from. So in that case, in case you are supposed to drill a borehole somewhere, we are able to test and tell you whether the water there is being replenished or is polluted. Mm. And for that matter, it is good to sink your borehole this area or that area. So all these are part of the things that GAIC is doing. Let me just add this. We have one institute that is in the communication industry because you are in the communication industry. So yeah. we see um, this telecom mast mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah. Right. Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is the agency that has been mandated to check the levels of radiation coming from these masts mm. so that they do not cause the harmful effects of like cancers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, radiation has the ability to cause cancers, mm. but then it depends on the level. So, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission in collaboration with the National Communication Authority and the Ministry of Communication. So, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission has been given the mandate to check the levels of radiation coming from all these telephone Tele telecommunication masks Must. around the mm. country. Mm. So we cover the whole country to check the levels and ensure and advise that the levels are safe. And so for those who are staying within those environments or the uh, immediate neighborhoods of these places are not being exposed unnecessarily. Right. Yeah. So the guy is doing all of this, yes. right? So w what about, of course, you've got a lot of scientists, you know, doing all kinds of things sure. there, including yourself. So what what is Gaek doing, or what role is Gaek playing when it comes to training the next generation of scientists and engineers in Ghana? All right. So Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, in the year um, 2006, established what is called the School of Nuclear and Allied Sciences. It's a graduate school, mm -hmm. and it was established in collaboration with the University of Ghana. And so, if you visit Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, you see the campus over there. What the school has been doing over the years, since it was established, is to train the next generation of, of scientists and technologists who are supposed to help in the nuclear field. Mm. So we have various programs that we run, like medical physics, like um, nuclear engineering, like applied nuclear physics, nuclear agriculture. So lots of health and um, um, health physics. And so lots of programs being run to train the next generation. And We've produced so many graduates at the level of masters and PhDs coming right. from this school. Mm. Interesting. So, I mean, how will you moving forward, uh, Gaek? You know, ensure that the technologies and the innovations that you are always coming up with are very accessible and beneficial to all sectors of the Ghanaian economy even right. underserved communities. All right. Thank you so much. So, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is reaching out. Right. And we, all the programs that we do, we collaborate with a number of institutions, mm. right? Like sister research institutions like CSIR, we collaborate heavily with government, uh, Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology, Ministry of Health. So when Ghana Atomic Energy Commission comes up with these um, uh, research findings and its technologies, then we liaise with these um, institutions that we collaborate with, and then also with government so that we can have those that these technologies are supposed to get to. For example, in the agri we have the ministry also bring the agri people on board. Apart from what we do, the programs that we do, and we invite the agri um, communities together in, in other areas as well. And so through this, we are able to then sell our technology to, the, to those who are supposed to to, to need it most. Mm, interesting. Um, and we'll, we'll have to be wrapping up our conversation now, but uh, Prof, 
What, what would be your final words in all of this? 60 years of Gaek, you're doing amazing things. You've told us about that. You've launched an endowment fund. Uh, you're asking people to donate. I mean, in all of this, what, what, what would be your final words? Okay, thank you so much. Um, my, my final words are that um, nuclear applications cut across all sectors of our socioeconomic development. And for that matter, the past 60 years, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission has played tremendous role in this. And as we move to the next step of, of, our, of our journey, we are calling on all to support Ghana Atomic Energy Commission in our activities, in our research, in our services that we offer, and most especially in this uh, develop, research and development fund that has been created mm. for everyone to come on board. Because if you're able to do it, it's for the country. If you're able to do it, it's for you and I. For example, as we sit here today, the next minute, we may be patients who are in the hospital seeking medical attention, and we may need any of these medical um, systems to help us. Mm. And if Ghana Atomic Energy Commission is not functioning well, then there's a problem, just as in our Greek and then in other sectors. So we call on everyone to support this fund to help us grow and grow very high. Support the fund, help Gaek to grow and grow very high. Momo Number, Ghana Atomic Energy Commission Endowment Fund, that's the name of the Momo Number. I mean, go onto your smartphone, call 05-888-464-39. Send some money to the fund. Echo Bank, account number 1441-000-299-103. And GCB Bank, 127-162002. Six nine, Professor Francis Hasford. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Lantern, for having me. Yes, uh, it's been a pleasure having you here in the studio. Prof Thank is you. the director, Radiological and Medical Sciences Research Institute at the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. Uh, wrapping up on the horizon. <laughs>